12 News is your local election headquarters. The two candidates vying to replace Congressman Joe Kennedy faced off in our studios. Democrat Jake Auchincloss and Republican Julie Hall disagreed on a lot of issues, and it was their only televised debate of the campaign. Target 12 investigator and debate moderator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. The 4th Congressional District goes from the northern part of Fall River through Taunton and the Attleboroughs up into the Boston suburbs of Newton and Brookline. Hall is a former city councilwoman from Attleboro. Auchincloss is on the city council in Newton. A clear difference between Massachusetts congressional candidates Jake Auchincloss and Julie Hall. Auchincloss says he'll take a coronavirus vaccine if approved by the FDA. Hall won't. I believe that a body's if you have a nice healthy body, you should be able to build up antibodies. I'd rather do it that way. And viruses, that's what they do. They come in our bodies, and our bodies are made to fight against those. We're having a very difficult time doing that. A quarter million Americans' bodies were not made to fight against it, and they're, dot, they're dead now because of our uh, incompetent response to this pandemic. And frankly, I find it very concerning that my opponent appears to be an anti-vaxxer and appears to not take science seriously. Hall took a shot at Auchincloss, calling him a political chameleon, while Auchincloss says Hall's values don't represent those of the people in the 4th District of Massachusetts. We have a gentleman here that's been a Republican, a Democrat, and an, an Independent in a very short period of time. And I know that's caused some consternation out in the public. He's not, they don't trust him. I find it uh, disconcerting that someone could support Donald Trump for president while espousing truth and character as important principle. Now they did find common ground on some issues. Both think the federal government should legalize recreational marijuana and they both gave Congressman Joe Kennedy an A for his performance in office. Tim White, 12 News.